Are you a career transitioner? Or are you new in your cybersecurity career and you're looking to transition it into the field? Maybe a cybersecurity bootcamp is the thing for you. Today, we're gonna to be covering the specifics as it concerns looking at cybersecurity bootcamps to help you jump into the cybersecurity field. Come on, let's have the discussion. Hi, and welcome to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggle in cybersecurity. And today's subject is gonna come from one of the subscribers. One of my subscribers, his name is Hector Delgadillo. And he asked, do you recommend boot camps as a starting point in my cybersecurity career? Thank you. Thank you, Hector, for proposing that question. And today we're gonna to be answering that. Now, a couple of things that I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna go in specifically to boot camps that you need to look at. I'm not gonna go into specific training organizations or specific boot camps, but I'm gonna cover a couple of different things. I'm gonna look at the pros and the cons of boot camps. I'm gonna equip you with some selection criteria for boot camps that you might wanna go into. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start off by looking at the pros and cons for cybersecurity boot camps. And let's start off with the pros. Some things that are pros of it is that it's focused training. In many of these cybersecurity boot camps, you are focused down into specifics. When you go through a university program, you are studying a lot of different material. I know from my undergrad and my master's, I went over a lot of different material that did not focus in on cybersecurity. But when you go into a boot camp, in many cases, it's very focused training on the subject matter that's important to the cybersecurity field. The second one is many times these boot camps come with hands on experience. You'll be doing labs. You will be configuring devices. You will be setting up defenses or you will be attacking systems in many of these boot camp um, programs. So that hands on experience is very important for you to transition there into the field. Networking opportunities. You'll be working with individuals who are looking to go into the field or might already be in the field. And many times these instructors are already individuals who are in the field and that's a big pro and also career support for many of these organizations these bootcamp organizations they offer career counseling or the ability to help you to find a job even after the boot camp so those are the four pros focus training hands-on experience networking opportunities and career support let's look at some of the cons is the cost some of these boot camps are can be very expensive where you can get into the thousands and thousands of dollars just to be able to participate in the boot camp. So that can be something that you might need to look into, right? Is there an upfront cost or are there financing options for these boot camps? Those are some things that could be considered to be a con. Another one is intensity. Many boot camps don't go over the same curriculum or over the same time period of university curriculum or uh, long term programs. It's not typically self paced. The intensity of the program in many cases is boiled down into that of several months or so. Right. So you're getting a lot of different material, especially if you might be new to cybersecurity, getting a lot of material within a short period of time. So that can be very intense to your ability to learn and capture those foundational concepts in cybersecurity. They're not accredited. That's the next one. No accreditation. These boot camp organizations are not accredited by some type of accreditation body, right? There might, there's not like a board that goes over the curriculum. There's not a specific period of time where they have to go through reviews or anything of their program. There's no really accreditation to many of these boot camps, but in many cases, they help for individuals to jump into the field quicker. So there's no accreditation. There's no real forensic evaluation of the effectiveness of the program. So that's a con that might be there in generalization. Well, I mentioned that in the pros, some of them have very focused training, but there are also some that are very generalized in the concepts and the subject matter that you'll be covering in cybersecurity. So you might be covering just general concepts, but not really focused out into the things that you'll be covering in a job in cybersecurity. So that can be some of the cons there. Let's transition to our next point where we're gonna be equipping you with the information necessary for you to select the right cybersecurity bootcamp for you and your career. So this is a selection criteria, things that you need to look at. The first one is the curriculum, the curriculum or the syllabus. Before you jump into any cybersecurity bootcamp, I need you to look at the syllabus. Look at the subject matter that you'll be covering, right? Are you covering network security? Are you covering offensive security? Are you covering defense in depth technologies and security incident and event management systems? What are you gonna be covering? Go over that curriculum and align it with things that you might have seen in the field as it concerns like job postings. So many times you need to evaluate that curriculum before you jump into any program. The next one that you need to evaluate is that of instructors. 
instructors are very important when you're looking at the program that you're going into. You want to do some type of background investigation of the people who will be teaching you this subject matter, right? You want to look at some of their qualifications, if they have any certifications, how many years have they been working in the field? Do they hold any relevant real world experience? Because I know that I've seen um, for some of these instructors, for some of these boot camps and training organizations, they are kind of secretive about their background, right? If they're secretive about their background, that really doesn't equip you with the information that's necessary to evaluate, hey, is this person really credible to be teaching me anything in cybersecurity? So I think that that's another one is that you need to look at your instructors, career support. Like I mentioned there in the pros, many of these boot camps offer career support for you getting a job after the boot camp. So you want to look at do they give career support? Does the boot camp provide any support in terms of helping you to find a job and after you complete the program? Look for boot camps that offer career services like resume reviews, like interview preparation or connections with potential employers. For some of these boot camps, they have connections with organizations who are looking to fill um, cybersecurity roles for their companies. So look for that too. Sometimes they might have like supporting organizations. They might have a list of organizations that might be backing that bootcamp organization. Time commitment. You always want to plan for the time that you'll be spending for the cybersecurity bootcamps. You want to be able to understand, hey, how long is this program? Is this going to be a year long program? It's going to be several months, a couple of weeks. You don't know. And some are even self paced. Um, those are more uncommon, but they do have some that are part time or self paced programs. So look into some of those specifics cost. We also mentioned cost. That's that's the next one. Cost is important. How much is this going to be? And look for sometimes they may offer things like scholarships. Um, payment plans or income sharing agreements. Now, these income sharing agreements are interesting because after you have received a role, after the cybersecurity boot camp, the boot camp might require for you to pay them a certain amount from your salary, from your new, new job uh, for a certain period of time. So that's interesting, but you want to look at if the boot camp comes with those type of things. And reputation, reputation is very important. Are there success stories? Are there other individuals who might have went through that boot camp and filed success or have they not filed success? You want to go ahead and really evaluate, hey, what is the effectiveness of this program as it concerns its reputation and if it can help you to get to where you desire to be? So those are the pieces there. You want to look at the curriculum, the instructors in their background, career support. Do they help you get a job afterwards? Time commitment, how intense or how time committed do you need to be to the cybersecurity boot camp? The costs. How much are you going to be spending and also the reputation of the organization? Now, again, like I mentioned, I'm not going to um, reference any specific boot camps or programs, but I do want to equip you with that information to be able to evaluate the boot camps for yourself. Hopefully this has alleviated one of your struggles. And again, this is struggle security where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And one more time. If you have questions, put them in the comment section and I'll try to do videos like this where I'm addressing your specific questions because I want to answer those questions to help you get into the cybersecurity field. OK, thank you.